Kiddo Queen. I hope you've had a great day. I'm so excited to be home on a Thursday. I've got big plans tonight. We're making some bacon shuffles and then I'm going to get back there in my closet and get to packing because we're going on a little family trip this week and I'm so excited. We're going to be leaving on Saturday morning so I've got a lot of packing to do. Hey Sarah, how are you? I see Jennifer jumping on and Gina, how are you guys doing? I hope you've had a great day. Tonight we're making shuffles. We're actually making bacon shuffles. My husband was so disappointed last week because I had bacon shuffles on the menu and then I ended up having to work two nights, <laughs> which was not planned. So tonight I am going to double him up with some double stacked bacon shuffles. Hey Johnny, Micah, Amanda, hope you guys have had a great day. What do y'all do for dinner tonight? This low carb keto friendly. We're going to mix this up really quick. I've got some bacon over here in my air fryer. We're just using some right thick bacon tonight because my husband loves bacon and he loves shuffles. So do you guys have a favorite shuffle recipe that you like to follow? There are tons of shuffle recipes, but mine has no cheese. So I love this one. It's actually called the mayo shuffle or the wonder bread shuffle. It tastes more like regular bread than anything I've made before uh, with an easy recipe that takes a couple of seconds. So there are awesome keto breads out there, but most of them take some time. Oh, hey, Stacy and Janet. All right, guys, how are y'all doing? Have you had a great day? It's been a wonderful day for me. Even though, guys, have y'all seen? Let me just tell you, I've been so frustrated this afternoon. I had to vent. I got it all out. I'm feeling good now, but I had to vent over CDC. Holy crap, they've changed the guidelines again for COVID and direct exposures. It's driving me insane for business, but I'm going to try to put that behind me and have a good night. <laughs> all right, bacon shovels. We only need a few ingredients. We're gonna start off with a really good mayonnaise. I love avocado mayonnaise. I've shared this mayonnaise with you guys so many times because I love it. I keep it stocked in my pantry. It's from Better Body Foods. Better Body Foods is an avocado mayo. The reason I like this one, even though it is kind of expensive, the reason I like it is I can read every ingredient. Yes, it has sugar. Every sauce, almost every sauce has some type of sugar. So you have to read the ingredients to make sure you can point it out and pick it out. But I can at least read all of these. So this one is made with avocado oil, egg yolk, water, distilled white vinegar, coconut palm sugar. There's my hidden sugar. Lemon juice, salt, tea extract, ground mustard, ground powder, I mean garlic powder and onion powder. So I can read all the ingredients. That's why I love this one. You can get even a better mayonnaise for keto friendly foods, but it's more expensive than this one. I don't like to break the bank on food. So you pick out the best item you possibly can for yourself and your budget and you feel good about it. I feel good about this mayonnaise. <laughs> Sarah says she likes this one. She toasts it before she makes anything. Hey, Becky. Hey, Gloria. Christina jumped on. Hey, Selena. Sulima. All right, guys. How are you doing today? And what are y'all doing for dinner tonight? I need to know what y'all are doing. I got home from work. Me and my mom and my Aunt Frances went outside to check out the pool. It's still coming along. So, all right, I'm doubling this recipe. So I'm making two batches of the shuffle. I've got my little mini shuffle makers over here, warmed up and ready. You don't have to buy these. You don't have to make a special purchase. You can use a regular size waffle iron if you want to and just cut them. But I wanted to be cute and make the little ones like everybody else, so I did. <laughs> Megan's cooking meatloaf. Hey, Donna, how are you? But they're not gonna break the bank. They're like $9. So if you want a small one, a cute one, that's what I told my husband, that's what I'm gonna do. I don't want to use a big one. I want to use the cute little small one. So there you go. We're going to use two tablespoons of mayonnaise because I'm doubling this batch. I've got two eggs in my mixing bowl. One. I should have used my dry ingredients first because now this is dirty. That's all right. Two tablespoons of mayonnaise because I'm doubling. We're going to use two tablespoons of almond flour. So let me get a different tablespoon now. One tablespoon. Two tablespoons of almond flour. I'll show you what almond flour I like to use. Now, guys, there are a lot of almond flours on the market. This is one thing you need to take, take special care in reading instruction or reading ingredients on. These almond flours, just because it says almond flour doesn't mean it's the best pick. So they're all very inexpensive as far as I'm concerned because it's not something I use every day. So this big bag that was like $11.97 will last me a very long time. So that's not expensive to me. The important thing is reading your ingredients and your nutritional facts. This one has one carb per three tablespoons. That is a very good carb count, okay? This is a great 
almond flour. It's nature's eats. There are other almond flours out there that may taste better, but they have like three carbs in one tablespoon or three carbs in a half a tablespoon. So make sure you're reading your nutritional values when you are picking out uh, items in your pantry that you know you're gonna use in your keto-friendly lifestyle or low carb. So again, this one has one net carb in a whole three tablespoons, so that's great. I just used two tablespoons, so what does this tell you about my recipe? It is very low carb. <laughs> it is a great recipe. It tastes wonderful. My husband loves these sandwiches. He would prefer me to cook these every single night. He would never get tired of a bacon shuffle. Hey, Teresa, how are you? All right, so we've got two tablespoons of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of almond flour. We've got two eggs. I'm doubling the recipe, remember. We're gonna do two, and I probably need to just do the math and tell you this is better. I, it calls for one eighth bacon powder, so I'm doing two one eighths bacon powder because I don't know what that means. <laughs> And then we're gonna do two teaspoons. Let me find my teaspoon. Uh, we're gonna do two teaspoons, if I can find it, of water. All right, this makes the perfect recipe for a shuffle, what we call Wonder Bread or mayonnaise shuffle that has no cheese whatsoever. So we're just gonna mix this up pretty good. It's just gonna make a really creamy substance. I'll show you in one second. I'm gonna make, that, make sure that almond flour is mixed up. The bacon powder, of course, helps it rise. We've got our little mini waffle maker set out over here, hot and ready to go. Now you can spray those with a non-stick spray if you want to, but I never have a problem with mine sticking, so I'm not going to. These do not make like a crunchy, hard shuffle. If you want it crunchy hard, then you're gonna have to add cheese. We love this taste, almost like a regular bread. We really, really, really enjoy it with any kind of sandwich, but my husband loves bacon. All right, so I got that mixed up. Let me show you what it looks like. See, really creamy. And we're just gonna use our waffle makers. <clears throat> and I'm gonna use two tablespoons of the mix in each of my waffle irons. This is something you have to get used to. When I first started, I always used way too much and it would overflow onto my counter. So I always put my waffle makers on a cutting board or something so it doesn't make a mess. And usually the two tablespoons will work. You don't wanna completely fill in the bottom because if you do, it's gonna overflow. But you just wanna time this. And I forgot my timer, let me set this kitchen timer because I like to time mine for four minutes. Let's see, four minutes. So we're gonna cook them for four minutes and that's it. We'll already have one sandwich done in four minutes. It's really, really, really fast. Hey Felicia, how are you? I see Nada on here. What are you guys doing for dinner tonight? Judy, I see you on here. What are y'all doing for dinner? That's low carb keto friendly. How was your day? I had a great day until the very end of the day, and then I got my venting out, and I'm all happy again. So <laughs> I'm glad it's Thursday. When I get off here, I'm going to start packing. Me and my husband and my parents and my son, we're going to take us a little trip. Uh, we're going to leave town for a few days, and we're really excited about just relaxing and resting. Guys, I know I travel. You, you can just say, hey, you just got back from the beach, but I love it. I enjoy it, and if we get an opportunity to take it, we do. Not everybody gets that opportunity, so we never take it for granted, for sure. Hey, Aaliyah, how are you? Tanya's on here. What are you guys doing for dinner? This low carb keto friendly. We're making some bacon shuffles. I got my bacon over here on the air fryer. I need to take that out. Put some more in. So guys, I used my dishwasher last night for the very first time. My dishwasher is amazing. <laughs> You couldn't hear it at all. It's pretty awesome. It's got a third row on the top, so you can put like uh, your flat long knives or even bowls on the very top shelf. So it's got three layers. Of course, I haven't been using that many dishes because I like to cook easy and my kids don't stay here all the time anymore like they used to. Let me get my little handy dandy oven, oven mitt out. So we're just gonna cook this up some bacon. My husband loves bacon, so he never can have enough. I never cook enough. I think he can eat about five pounds of bacon every night if I cooked it for him. Woo, shoot, that's hot, I need to get a fork. As I'm preparing this, guys, let me know what questions you have. It's low carb or keto related. Anything you have going on, I wanna make sure I'm helping you guys. Do you have any questions about the challenge kit? The holidays are coming. What are you guys doing to prepare for the holidays? I wanna make sure you feel good about where you are before the holidays get here. So you don't panic and then feel horrible about yourself and the holidays leave. Because <laughs> they come only for a short minute and then they're gone. And then we're left with the aftermath of feeling like proud or feeling pretty darn proud. So I want you guys to feel proud after the holidays are, have come and gone. So I love my air fryer, 
basket. I love this air fryer. It's the Cuisinart TOA60. It holds tons of food. So easy to cook with. It's fairly easy to clean because I hate to clean. about 10 minutes on 375. Ooh, my shuffles are coming out really pretty. I'm fixing to take some off and you guys can see what the finished product looks like. Looks like I've got one minute left on the timer over here. Hey, Emma. Uh, Caprice. Hi. I think that's the first time I've seen your name on here. Julia. Patty. Hey, Debbie. Debbie is out of, out of work late, so we picked up Texas Roadhouse. Woo-hoo. Ribeyes and green beans. That's one of my favorite things. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Yes, we're going to have a fun weekend, Nada. I'm very excited. Felicia's doing the cracked chicken. Now, Felicia, are you doing the crock pot cracked chicken? Or are you doing the cracked chicken I showed you guys? Because I'm telling you, the one I made was so good. And I hate a crock pot. I'm not a crock pot fan. I'm never, I've never been good at a crock pot. People look at me and they're like, how can you not use a crock pot? I mean, you just throw everything together, turn it on low, you come home, it smells delicious, and it's ready. I'm like, no, it does not work like that for me. I'm never home when I'm saying I'm going to be home. So if I turn on low, it's not done when I get home, then I have to wait an hour. I'm highly pissed off at that point. <laughs> or I've turned it up too high because I say I'm going to be home at this time, and I end up having to work late, so then it's dry. Crock pots just don't work for me. I hate it, but I don't like extra stuff on my counter either. Uh, let's see. Gina says she wants to lose 20 more pounds before Christmas. We are going to Gatlinburg. Ooh, for Christmas? That's going to be so much fun, Gina. That's where I'm going this weekend. Yay! <laughs> I know there's a big crowd in Gatlinburg, so when you get there, Gina, be safe. Make sure you social distance the best you possibly can. Take it serious, y'all. Let's be safe. I know this is a lot of political bullcrap going on right now, but... Honestly, we still have to take care of our health, whether it's truth or fib or fabrication. We know it's not all fabrication, so I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm getting off on that. I've had a very frustrating afternoon with CDC. Sarah said she wanted to ask what to do for Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, Sarah, that's a great question. Gina, real quick, to help you with that 20 pounds, if you're not already following a keto diet, you will lose 20 pounds quickly depending on your body, depending on your commitment, depending on stress in your life, you can lose 20 pounds between now and the first of the year. Now, don't get disappointed if you don't lose 20 pounds, but I will tell you, if you start, if you haven't already started, you will 100% feel completely different between now and December. You will 100% see inches come off your body between now and December. If you want to even amplify those results, if you were to consider adding those keto nap drinks, you're even going to feel more amazing. <laughs> so you 100% can hit that 20 pound mark if you really want to. Sarah, I love Thanksgiving with my family. I love to host Thanksgiving here at my house with my family. My timer just went off. Hang on one second, let me grab some of these shuffles. Ooh, it's gonna be good. Let's see. All right. Ooh, they look delicious, guys. Where's my fork? Ooh, this first batch. Okay, this is our first sandwich. So we're gonna pile this high with bacon for my husband. He's gonna put him a little spicy sauce on there because he loves spice. And this is gonna be the best shuffle sandwiches. Super, super easy. So let me go ahead and get this loaded back up with more. We got about two tablespoons we're putting on each shuffle and I gotta make another batch it looks like because I know he'll eat at least three because he's a growing man. That man's a growing man. He loves to eat. All right, so I'll probably make another batch to make him three sandwiches. I think I'm gonna eat leftovers from last night because guys, that was so good. It was so good. I was so excited to try that new meal out last night and it was super delicious. All right, let's put this timer back. Four minutes on the shuffles. We'll go over that recipe again in just a second. So Sarah, back to Thanksgiving. I love Thanksgiving. And this Thanksgiving is going to feel weird. I hope families get together at the same time. I totally understand some people are afraid to get into groups. But maybe we can do small family Thanksgivings, you know, with your immediate families. But still spend a lot of time with each other. But I love Thanksgiving. And one thing I love to make at Thanksgiving are little garlic rolls that you can stuff your ham and your turkey and your roast beef or your prime rib or whatever your family's cooking. Because my family does all kinds of weird things at Thanksgiving. But these little garlic rolls are the bomb. 
So Sarah, if you'd like that, put garlic rolls in the comments and I'm gonna send you the recipe. I love them. I love deviled eggs. So we make a lot of blue cheese bacon deviled eggs or something fancy, <laughs> just, to, just to have something different. We love making sweets. So I love Thanksgiving, but we always keep our Thanksgiving keto. You can make the most awesome food on Thanksgiving, keto, serve it to your family. They don't even know that it's keto. And then after they've eaten it, say, mm -hmm, that was one of my favorite keto dishes. They're gonna be like, oh my God, I can eat keto. That was delicious. So don't even tell people that you're bringing a keto dish unless they're depending on you to bring them that keto dish. Then say, hey, hey guys, secret over here, all keto. This is the keto aisle. That's what I do at Thanksgiving. I love to feed my family. <laughs> hey, Donna Marie, how are you, Christina? I see Margaret. Gina says she's making the chick crack, the crack chicken that I made. She says it's the bomb. I love it. I can't wait to make it again. Uh, Felicia said it was amazing. Uh, debating on trying keto caprice. Oh my goodness, girl, you got to try it. You don't have to start immediately. You can do some investigation. I did a lot of investigation, but one thing I'm going to tell you, some advice. Don't spend too much time investigating. Because when you start reading about keto, it can sound so complicated. So what I'd love to do, Caprice, if you will put in the comments, getting started information, I'm gonna send you some information that will help you get started immediately. That way you're gonna feel so much better before Thanksgiving. I will send you that information on how to get started immediately. Just in the comments, Caprice put getting started information. I'm gonna send it to you. You can still do your own investigation, which I think is great, but don't get all tied up in all the complications of keto because it can be very simple or it can be very complicated. I love simple, clean keto. Hey, Tracy, how are you? Gina says she is very serious. I'm so excited for you. Let's see, Felicia did the 16 hour fasting and you will lose faster. Okay, yes, Felicia is 100% telling you correct. If you do a 16 hour fasting window or some type of intermittent fasting, you definitely will lose quicker as well. Hey, Amanda Terry. Thank you, Nada. I love my kitchen. I absolutely love my kitchen. It is so functional. Everything is functional. I'm going to show you a few minutes. One thing I've got to change. We're going to work on that very soon. Nada wants to know what this recipe is. So let me stop talking a minute and give you this recipe for the shoffles. They're so good. Sarah says, by no stuffing is what's going to kill me. By no stuffing is what's going to kill me. So by no stuffing, I'm sorry, Sarah, I don't understand. It's probably something with Thanksgiving. <laughs> I never eat stuffing, so that doesn't bother me at all. Let's see, Janet says, I need a new recipe. Enchilada meatball casserole. She made a new recipe. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Uh, she says she makes shuffle some of the last night. Oh, with peanut butter and strawberry jam. That sounds good. All right, let me stop and tell you about these shoffles real quick, and then we'll come back to just more conversation. I see your comment, Caprice. I will send you information in just a little while. Hey, Amanda. And I see the garlic roll request, too. Okay. So let me check on this bacon real fast. I want to burn it. Ooh, it's looking good. Let me see. Ooh, it's looking good. Let's see. Let's see. Let's do a couple more minutes. Y'all don't let me forget about my bacon. Put bacon in the comments if I forget. The shoffles look amazing. Let me go ahead and mix some more. We're going to talk about this recipe again. So I'm doubling. I'm going to make my husband three and me one, or I'll give him all four. I love making them. So we're going to use two eggs to double the recipe. So if you're doubling it, that means you're making two sandwiches. One bottom, second bottom, one top, second top. It's a doubled recipe. This just makes one sandwich. We're going to make two with this, okay? So I got two eggs. I want to make sure you don't make too much or not enough. So two eggs. I'm going to forget about it. <clears throat> Man, I'm excited. It's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Woo! I'm so looking forward to this week being over. All right, so we've got, where my spoons go? Oh, right here. <laughs> Dang, I just got that dirty like a dummy. All right, let me do it this way. So we got two eggs. Let me get this out of the way. Two eggs. We're going to do two tablespoons of almond flour. This is super simple, guys. Two eggs, two tablespoons of almond flour. We're gonna do two tablespoons of mayonnaise. Almost done. This is that, that fast. We've got two teaspoons of water. One, two. And then we're gonna do two one-eighths, because I don't know what that means to double it, so we're just gonna do two of them. <laughs> The recipe calls for an eighth teaspoon, so we're gonna do two eighth teaspoons of baking powder. And that's it. We're just gonna take a fork and mix it up. Let me check my timer. 
I turned this one off. Let me take these out. Oh my goodness, they look so good. Here's a fork. One, two. Two sandwiches ready for my husband. <laughs> we love chocolate sandwiches at our house. You can make them with grilled chicken sandwiches. You can make bacon sandwiches. You can make breakfast sandwiches. We love this recipe, super easy. But that's it. Two eggs, two tablespoons of almond flour, two tablespoons of mayonnaise, two eighth teaspoons of uh, bacon powder, two teaspoons of water. That's it, that's it. Mix it up. Throw it on your, on your waffle maker. If you're doing a mini waffle maker, I usually pour two tablespoons on each waffle maker for a top and a bottom. If you're using a regular size waffle maker, fill it up, cook it up, cut them. Make as many sandwiches as you want to with it. It makes it perfect for me in four minutes. All right, what was we talking about? <laughs> uh, let's see. Hey, Sarah. Fourth teaspoon. Thank you, Sarah. I appreciate that. So a fourth teaspoon is two one-eighths, right? <laughs> hey, Pamela. I said when I made my uh, kitchen, I was going to have like one of those conversion charts on my counter somewhere. So I need to put it like I put it right here. I actually could put it right here on my double oven cabinet. So I could put it right there. That way I have all of my tablespoon conversions and all of my cup conversions. That'd be pretty awesome, wouldn't it? I, I might need to, to do that. Uh, let's see. Hey, Sheila, how are you? I see Pamela jumped on. Sarah said, then my cranberry sauce has a lot of sugar. Yeah, that I think I can swap to keto with a horseradish cranberry sauce. Never heard of that. It sounds pretty cool. Hey, Jennifer, how are you? So the awesome thing about keto, honestly, is that you can make so many changes. Just like the recipe I had last night, it was not a keto-friendly recipe. I just converted it to a keto-friendly by removing the corn and removing the black beans. And I'm telling you guys, it was awesome. I'm so excited to try it again. Um, not having stuffing at Thanksgiving. Okay, Sarah says she's not going to have stuffing at Thanksgiving. But we still have it at my house. I just don't partake. Uh, it doesn't hurt my feelings just because I love it, but there's so many other options. I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. And I always, if my family doesn't do keto or low carb, I always bring stuff of my own and, and I share it with everybody. Like I said, they don't know it's keto unless you tell them. So if you just bring an awesome looking dish, everybody's going to eat it and they're going to be like, oh my gosh, I mean, that's so good. Can you share the recipe? I'm like, yes, I'll be glad to show you my keto recipe. <laughs> And they're like, oh, wait, hang on a minute. That's diet food? I'm like, first of all, I'm not on a diet. I follow a diet, but this is my life. This is how I live. This is how I eat. I feel so good eating these foods. These foods don't put me into bed. These foods don't make me go to sleep for five hours later. They don't hurt my stomach. You know, they actually make me feel good. They give me energy. So there's a huge difference between a diet where you're cutting out tons of stuff and the way you live. So keto is the way I live. It is a lifestyle for me. Nana said she'd love to read um, my beginning stuff. I'll send it to you, girlfriend. All right, so let me show you one thing I found in my kitchen last night we're going to change. So my microwave is in my island, and we actually bought this microwave trim kit that would have picked it up and, like, finished it out. It had been really pretty, but the trim kit doesn't fit. So my cabinet maker is going to come back, and he's going to put me a shelf, like, right here. So the microwave is pushed up, and then under my shelf, I can put my cutting boards or towels or things I use all the time. So that's one thing we're going to change in the kitchen. Always learning new stuff as we go. <laughs> but it's been great. I absolutely love my kitchen. Very thankful that my husband finally let me do this after we paid off a lot of debt. We've been working hard the last five years to pay off debt. That's why we've been able to make all these changes. And I'm so blessed to be able to do it finally. Oh, let's see. Debbie says there's recipes for stuffing made with shoppers. Really cool. Now, I have seen, guys, just so you know, I have seen a lot of um, breading, like keto... Look, in this cookbook there is, in my Southern Keto Cookbook, there actually is a stuffing recipe, Sarah. So Google the Southern Keto Cookbook. It's pretty awesome. There's a lot of Southern foods in this book, cookbook. They actually do have um, a stuffing recipe. I've just never made it because 
when I cook things, I cook super simple things. And if it has more than six ingredients, I, I, I really bypass it just because I don't have a lot of time for cooking. But I know there are some great recipes in here. And I know I've had friends cook the stuffing out of this book and said it was really, really good. So the Southern Keto Cookbook, if you guys have never seen this before, let me turn around so you can see it better. Southern Keto Cookbook is definitely a recommendation of mine. Southern Keto Cookbook. Y'all go ahead and take a print screen. It is an awesome, awesome book. Tons of great recipes in there. Uh, we love it. That's where I found my um, gravy, my drop biscuits and gravy recipe came from that book. I love that, that, that thing. Oh, Lord. Even though I opened this up, it was still cooking. It's hot in there. All right. Oh, my timer just went off. Let me get this bacon out. You guys have a air fryer? Do you use it very often? I use mine all the time. I love it. Whoops, I'm making a mess. Come on, let me do this first. I'll take these shoppers off. Man, they look and smell good, y'all. Shop on number three. Ah, coming up. <laughs> questions I have a huge support system that helps me help my friends so guys let me know if I can do anything for you I hope you have a great night bye